Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be showing you an easy way to fix the problem of overheating in your laptop without taking it apart. This would help especially if you're into gaming or graphics design. In a previous video, I showed a number of other ways to resolve the problem of overheating laptop, mainly by taking it apart and optimizing the cooling mechanisms. However, not everyone has the skills and tools to do that, and if your laptop is still under warranty, then taking it apart might void the terms of the warranty. So for such situations, the soft approach which I'll be showing in this video could come in really handy. And with that said, let's jump right into it. So like I mentioned in the previous video, most of the heat produced by your laptop comes from the processor and the GPU. So modifying their configurations could significantly affect the amount of power they draw and hence the amount of heat your laptop produces. In this tutorial, I'll be focusing mainly on the CPU configuration. If you have a dedicated GPU in your laptop, then you could do some Google search using the specific model to know what settings are optimal for your power management. In any case, you need to ensure that you have installed the latest drivers for your graphics card. This is particularly important if you have just installed a new copy of Windows to your laptop. For most laptops, you will observe that your cooling fan keeps spinning at high speed after installing Windows until you install or update your graphics card drivers. Most laptops would automatically install the graphics drivers along with other drivers once connected to the internet, but some laptops would require you to complete this process manually, and some may install outdated drivers. So you need to update or download the latest drivers to ensure your graphics driver is up to date. To verify that your graphics card drivers are up to date, go to your search and type Device Manager. Select Device Manager from the search results. On the Device Manager page, you will see where it says Display Adapters. Click the little arrow to the left to show the installed drivers. Here if it says Microsoft Basic Driver, then you are yet to install the required drivers for your graphics card. You can try updating the drivers by right-clicking and selecting Update Driver from the options. Then here select Search Automatically for Updated Driver Software and wait for the process to complete. If the process is successful, then it should have some positive message like installation complete or the best drivers for your device are already installed. And here it should show you the name of the graphics card of the drivers you've just installed. If not successful, then you will need to go to your manufacturer support page, then search for the driver that corresponds with your device and download and install accordingly. The next approach to reducing overheating is to check your power plan. For that, you need to right-click on the battery icon and select Power Options. 
Usually you would have these three options, balanced, high performance, and power saver. In some cases, like the case of this EliteBook 8540W, you have only two options, balanced and high performance. If you want to show more options, I have made a video to help you with that. I will leave the link in the video description. Now, high performance will usually require more energy, which could be contributing to the overheating of your laptop. The power saver option might reduce performance below your expectations. So the recommended option here is the balanced option, which should optimize performance and energy consumption. Once you select balance, close the window and restart your PC for the change to take effect. The most common setting you can change to help with your power management and prevent your laptop from overheating is the CPU power management settings. For that you need to go back to your power options by right clicking the battery icon and selecting power options. Now next to the balanced option, choose change plan settings. Here click change advanced power settings. And on this page go to where it says processor power management and click on the plus sign to the left. Then you should see maximum processor frequency, minimum processor state, system cooling policy, and maximum processor state. Sometimes you may not see the maximum processor frequency option. Here, when you expand the minimum processor state, you will see that it's set to 5% by default for both the battery and when plugged in. Now here you can definitely reduce this to 2 or 3% or even 1% if you have a powerful processor. This means that when your laptop is not in use or in low use, it keeps the power usage to 2 or 3% depending on what you select. For the cooling policy, you can change the passive on battery to active and then leave the plugged in state as active. More importantly is the maximum processor state. Here is set to 100% by default for both battery and when plugged in. Now you can reduce this to 80% or 70% or even less if you have a very good processor. This would reduce the maximum amount of power your processor draws. Usually this change wouldn't lead to any observable change on how your laptop runs, except you are running some high demanding games or graphics applications. In any case, this is a safe approach to keeping your CPU at low temperature. Now after changing these settings, remember to click on apply and hit OK to implement them. Then you can restart your laptop for the changes to take effect. Hope one of this was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.